Right guys, here we go. Lovely BMW 535i. Just arrived at Pickering for the next sale on a 52 plate, as you can see, in a lovely blue. I can't think what color you call it, the proper name. Um, I can't think, but lovely color blue. Um, 88,000 miles showing on the clock, or 880 something anyhow. Uh, so not many miles at all. Um, and a lovely car all round. Nice and clean under the engine bay. Um, looks very solid. All the sound editing is still intact under the bonnet area there. Um, so yeah, ticking over there, lovely as you can hear. All is good under the hood. <laughs> um, Bodywork wise, clean car. Clean car for its age. There might be a few minor little stone chips and things on the front, but overall, a very straight, clean looking car. All the way around, to be fair. A few little bits if you're being picky. I think there was a new spot of mine a little bit on the rear bit of bumper there I mean you're being really picky it's a really um, real straight car lovely tool kit with everything there in the back look where it should be where it all belongs which is nice to see boot area nice big boot that one uh, from a little bit of the wet that wet back there's a few stains on there um, the photograph as well um, it's got a spare wheel but without a tire uh, and a few bits and pieces down there as well look jack and things are still in its place um, so yeah, all good under there. Tragic shame, but that's a Category S. No oh, you're joking. It's so clean, Isn't bad, it? Yeah. But it's Category S. Oh, Category S, guys. That's a shame, but it, it, it's one of them things, isn't it? Yeah, well, that is a bummer. But, um, oh well, to be fair, you wouldn't have thought. I uh, don't know where the damage was or whether we got photographs or what. Um, but, um, hey, you might get yourself a cheap car. Um, lovely M Sport wheels on there. Nice all round. Good looking uh, tyres from what I can see, interior wise, superb in the back, lovely door cards, nice inner and outer shuts, a um, little bit of fade on both sides, repair work, blowing work, I'm not too sure what that is to be fair, just looks like a bit of sun fade, um, just on the top there, like the same on the other side, um, but the rest of the seats are superb, not stretched or anything, leather's really clean, same on the back of the front seats, nice carpet, really clean headlining again likewise in the front good door cards inner and outer shuts all this is nice and clean which is good to see been well looked after shame about the um, cat s but it's one of them things passenger seats okay little bit if you're being fussy minor but overall really good dashboard's good wood's lovely nice center console area we'll get around to the driver's side now yeah, going around the car looks really good. I'm impressed with it. Little bit of minor wear just on the bolsters here on the driver's seat. Obviously, it gets used the most, so it's likely to have a little bit, isn't it? Um, but for the age, yeah, really good. I'm quite impressed with this. But yeah, like I say, lovely centre console. The um, what do you call it? You know the the, the um, coming yet? What do you call it? The, the dials on there anyway. Look, they're just going a little bit pixelated. Can't think what you call them. Um, but dashboard's lovely. Saying I've got a low tire somewhere. Might want want a bit of wind in one of them. But got 88844 showing on the clock. Um, other than that, yeah, I can't really say much more. Nice looking car. It's down on display at Pickering, guys. So please come down, have a look, see what you think. Um, I'm sure there'll be a bit of history with it as well. So, um, as always, give the girls a ring in the office and they'll let you know what we've got for it. Uh, or better still, come down, have a look at the car, and then uh, nip to Thorntondale and have a flick through the um, have a flick through the paperwork and see what you think. But uh, yeah, I think that's all I can say for this one.